welcome to our back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and today I am going to be giving you yet another tour of High Point University, but this one is going to be very different than the others I've done before because in this video I'm going to be giving you the full truth about High Point University from a student's perspective and some fun facts about the campus in case you are starting your college search or considering coming here. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So right now we are at the front of campus, which is so beautiful if you have seen it in my other videos. And having the promenade with all of the academic buildings is just something really special because you pass so many students going to class. And I know something students really enjoy is going into Slane, our student center, which is right there, and grabbing something from the CAF or Starbucks before they head to class. And also for underclassmen, you will pick up your packages in Slane, so it's super convenient to do. But now we are going to keep moving around campus. Something else that I wanted to mention, just because I'm an emotional senior here at High Point University, is take the time, all four years if you come here, to really enjoy how beautiful it is because I try to take a walk as often as I can and really enjoy the scenery. But some days I honestly forget to do so because you get so used to living somewhere that is this beautiful. But I promise when it comes to an end, you will wish you did it more often. So that is also why I wanted to make this video today. So I also wanted to mention while I was out here something that a lot of people don't know and that might be different from some other schools is I feel like most students here at High Point University do get dressed for class and I think that is just because of the atmosphere that has been created and how beautiful our buildings and classrooms are. You just feel like you should, honestly. You don't have to. I mean, obviously, there's always going to be people that go to class in their pajamas or sweatpants, but I like to get dressed up and feel like I'm ready to have my day in this beautiful place that I get to call home for four years. So just the... I'm trying to think of how to say it. The... Norm, not the rule, I guess, is what the dressing is. It's not like a dress code, but like, it's what people do. So I wanted to let you know that just so you're aware. And also, I know people often think that our beautiful facilities and everything are just for show purposes and to attract a certain kind of student. But I will honestly be the first to say that the stereotypes and different things that come along with High Point University are so far from the truth. I find that there are so many motivated and inspiring individuals that choose to come to school here because of the atmosphere that is created. And obviously you're gonna find a little bit of everything at every school because that's just the way the world works. But I wanted to let you know that I have found some of the most genuine and amazing people going to school here at High Point University. And nobody's paying me to say any of this so I could tell you the honest truth about anything that I want. So I wanna make sure that you know exactly the way that I see it and have experienced everything. Okay, so at High Point University, there's always something exciting going on right now. Over here by the pond, lake, uh, fountain, I don't really know what you call it. There is a drone class going on to learn how to fly a drone and that's really cool and different and something that only High Point probably has yeah. to offer for so many students. And also we are on our way to find out where these free snowman cookie decorating kits are and it's very ironic that they're doing that today because it is a beautiful, sunny, almost 70 degree day. So it's just really cool. There's so much to offer and there's also food trucks coming. So sounds like a busy day but it's very typical here and something that I really enjoy every single day as a college student. Oh, and this is Sean. Sean's here. Hello. Yeah, my Fortnite night boyfriend. He also went to IMG Academy, if you didn't know. Yeah, nice little plug. <laughs> he and went then... to the gym. I was, you know, on my way there, turned around and put on a dress so I could show you guys my awesome college campus because it was just looking more than usually beautiful. Guys, the words are not coming today. So now we are in the bakery in the Wannick Center and I am so excited to see my cookies because we saw them when we were walking in and they look so unbelievably delicious. Enjoy. 
Oh, you're the one that does the vlogs all the time. Yeah. I watch you. Yeah. Really? They're really cool. Yeah. Oh, gee, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. All right, so we got, I don't know what this is, but it's cute. And it says High Point University. Then we also have these. Oh, it's way more than cookie decorating kit. I see some arms, eyes, hat. Look at these seniors. There's frosting in there. Scarf. Scarf. Oh, cute. Well, we'll do that later while we sit outside and do homework in the sun. What a great day. Oh, and right ahead of us, you see the quarantine golf cart. Those bags are for the people that are in quarantine. So what they do is they give you a nice little meal in it. You get, uh, I believe it's a breakfast sandwich, some lunch and dinner. And you then have to pick a little bit, customize you, it. You have to customize it, but there's like three or four options. And it's the same options for every what every day for the week right yeah. so kind of gotta pick and choose what you guys really want to eat uh but it's not bad and it gets you through it yeah we both had to do it and it was not the best thing ever so hopefully we don't have to ever do it again but at least high point made the most of it that they possibly could to give us at least a little bit decent of an experience but yeah just want to share that in case that is still the situation in the fall i hope not but you know just wanted you to know what went on in case but now we just passed control which i'll be going back there later so i didn't run through there and we also are going past the Cattrall Amphitheater, which is super pretty. And that's Centennial 2, which is where I lived my sophomore year. And to be completely honest, since in this tour-ish video, I wanted to be really honest with you guys. Centennial is the best place to live on High Point University's campus besides the freshman dorms because they're just all amazing. I lived in UC2. Wanik is the same setup. Really cool. If I could think of any way to get you into any of those, I would try. I will think about it actually, but living in Centennial is the best thing ever and I lived in Centennial too like I said and it's just a little bit further from things. I mean, it's literally the difference from like here to here. I just think that since High Point University has the most beautiful dorms in the country, according to I think USA Today, and I live in the best dorm, in the best location on campus right there, that that means I live in the most beautiful, and uh, hold on, I live in the third floor room with a beautiful view, so I think Personally, I live in the most beautiful dorm in the entire country. If you do the math, so sharing that. That is my house and that third floor window is mine. And the parking is better in Centennial 1 than 2. Sean has never lived over there, but he can attest. Yeah, the parking is a lot better here than it is over there, I'll tell you that much. And we have the post office on our side. But yeah, it's just and really we, awesome. I, I think we also have a better gym because we have what we have more cardio machines we have more free weights and we have i think more just like uh body movement uh, machines, weighted machines. So. yeah yeah so there you go can't beat it Plus we're right next to yeah greek. we're right next to the greek circle i really wish i get into my sorority house that's so sad to me but you know maybe before the year's over i can ask for a favor we'll see i actually forgot i had class today so that's good i have class in an hour so one thing that i wish i had known when i came to high point university is our class time so i want to explain them to you so on monday wednesday and friday our classes are an hour and 10 minutes and on tuesday and thursdays they are an hour and 40 minutes but there is also an opportunity to take classes that are only on monday and wednesdays that are an hour and 40 minutes starting at 12:05. so everyday classes are starting at 7.50 instead of 8 a.m., which is a little crazy, and it really does make a difference, honestly, but that is how it works here, and I really enjoy taking those longer Monday, Wednesday class to avoid Friday classes, so it's really awesome that they have those options, but that is something I wish I knew as a freshman, as well as for most of these classes, you can get a tutor that is always a student that has taken that class, and sometimes even with the same professor that you'll have which is really cool it's free and you can get one through the school so just some opportunities that i wish i knew about as a freshman so i wanted to share that with you if you are considering coming here but now i need to take a turn 
and go to my class. I have nutrition with my favorite professor that I've had three classes with now. And Sean, what do you have today? I have art appreciation. So oh, Sean has art appreciation, which is his art credit. Right Bye. Love you. Love you, bye. Which is one of the general education requirements, so you have to take something like that. And he actually likes it. There's a lot of different projects, and it's very out of his comfort zone, I would say, but still really a good opportunity to take something different. But here's my class in the School of Education, and behind me is a science building, which is really cool, and I've shown other tours, but here we go. Okay, so here is our Greek circle. And there is enough houses for each of our six sororities and fraternities. And this area is really awesome because we also have a gym as well as a pool. Every house has their own back patio that they're able to hang out and socialize on. And especially on a nice, beautiful day like today, there are so many people doing so, which is just a whole lot of fun. But through here, you will be able to see our pool. But yeah, that is our Greek village. Sean has brought up a really good point because I do want to touch on Greek life a little bit because I do think if you go to High Point University, you don't have to be in a sorority or fraternity, but I do think it's a really good decision. And if you choose not to, you should definitely get involved in something, whether that's student government or taking on a position in a student club or anything like that. I think it's really important to get involved in something on here because it is a smaller school, so people do make their groups and form really close friendships, and you want to be a part of that. But also on top of that, with Greek life, we do have Greek week every year where they pair one of the six sororities with one of the six fraternities. And usually it's like a big week of activities like a dance competition and different sporting events like basketball and tug of war and fun stuff like that. And it just brings the whole Greek community together. And it's super fun and that's another big reason why I love High Point University and specifically Woke at Dark. <laughs> being in Greek life here, but I am running into Sean's house quick and I will be back really, really soon. Okay, so now I'm walking over to Cottrell to host my optional study hours for my sorority. And this is another really good opportunity that a lot of sororities and fraternities and different groups do on campus. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm gonna obviously grab my Starbucks on the way. All right, so I am back in my dorm here at High Point University and I really hope that you enjoyed this day of showing you around High Point University's campus and giving you more of an in-depth look of everything our campus has to offer, as well as some hidden secrets that hopefully you didn't know before. So you learned something from this video, but that is it, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.